Rodgers did a good job of spacing the floor off the bounce. With a one-man highlight reel on one end of the floor. It's UConn with a nine-point lead against USF. On the break, off the turnover. So he's comfortable here and he's getting a steal. Banks off the glass. Seven for 11 after shooting just 32% at the half. Now, SMU tends to get tired defensively. Tim Jankovic now going exclusively zone over the last five minutes. Banks, good luck for three. Go. Under eight minutes to go. Peyton Banks for three. Got it. Over a situation that wasn't favorable, but he'll get things going in the right direction. They've got some guys sitting out. they got some recruits coming in, and they continue to play hard with a good attitude. They don't have the talent either to compete at this level, but Brian will get them there. Stefan Jiggett's the leading scorer on this team. Three on the way. They're asking to do a lot from that wing position, and Memphis is going back into the 2-3 zone, which they've employed the last few games with a lot of success. Another one from the three-point line, but that time he had an advantage, and that's what Memphis has to do. They have to keep being aggressive off the bounce. Tough baseline jumper and a sweep. Mississippi State. I think he is. Well, without him, what is Georgia? If that's the approach you're going to take, I, I would tend to agree, but the MVP started the last 13 games and was solid. And you could see at that time that there was a lot of upside with him. You expect continuing into next year as a junior, there'll be more progression. Peyton Banks for this team. And of course, you can always get hot like they are now and make a run in the American Conference Tournament as Banks banks one in and goes to the foul line. You see, have a lot of work to do, obviously, between now and the end of their respective conference seasons. But to your point, that really bolsters the possibilities for Temple, despite the fact. Collins maintaining the dribble. Jiggett slowing things down. Another grad transfer from Fairley Dickinson. Outside. You're out the zone defense, I believe, against UConn. Yeah, USF only six points in the paint, and that's coming off the bench. They have eight turnovers in this contest. We haven't seen a lot of Stefan Jiggett's on the offensive side, and they go back down low. Is this a man to man here on the defensive side?
And to rebound out of a zone, there's no blocked out responsibilities. As a matter of fact, I think you have to be more active rebounding out of a zone than you do man to man. You're at Collins for USF rebound into the hands of Jiggins. Three point try. Play again immediately. And I would have thought the exact opposite. Because eight days you get time for people to maybe read and read articles and think you're better than you are. But also eight days. That's a But South Florida does not look the part of an 0-7 conference team right now. Energy wise. No, and I've been impressed again on the defensive glass. Tulane getting nothing going, no guys going to the offensive glass. The witness as we talked about with USF taking UCF down to the wire. Uh, but then you look at the top half of that conference. I mean, you got Cincinnati, you got the Wichita States, Houston. I mean, it's just really not an easy out on them. Break the press with De Silva. Smart play. Smart play by De Silva. Tulio he can play a little haphazard sometimes. Mm -hmm. That time, pulled it out, make Cincinnati play some half court defense. Banks. Cincinnati is not pressuring the ball the way they typically do. And usually they are right in you. A little bit soft, a little better right there by Moore. Collins, There's the it's pressure. a triple team. Somehow gets the ball out of there. Banks with a hand in his face. Oh. For the second leading scorer of Cincinnati to get his first points. Let's see if they can speed South Florida up now with their on-ball pressure. Go right back to the hot hand. Banks can still left on the shot clock for South Florida. Trying to stay in it. They go to Peyton Banks. He's had the hot hand. Drives in. Instantly imploring his defense. Pressure the ball. Get into the ball. Boy, nothing. There's the nine leads. USF can't get into their offense. Banks, tough shot, does it?
seven in that category. Indeed. To the wing, nice shot fake by Samuel. Underneath to Silva going to work. Unfriendly bounce, but a tap out. Shekic kept it alive, and now Banks triggered. Oh, hasn't touched the ball since. Here comes Banks off the screen, number four in green. They're doing a good job of contesting him. Jiggets went down to a knee, kicked it out, Banks. And he knocked like this half. That's awesome. After nine first half turnovers. The score is 21 to 10 in the second half. Indiana's up. These fans have been waiting for a, a comfortable lead at some point this season. They're finally getting it and just... Well, over this weekend uh, in the America. Yeah, that middle game, I think, is going to be interesting because I don't know of another coach, Mike, that is having to. <laughs> have to do other things to compensate extremely well. Thanks again. That time, no good. Got his own miss. He has three. Especially last year, quite doing on a consistent basis was. He's kind of quiet. But Mitchell is early favorite, possibly, for the rookie of the year. You don't have to always have a lottery pick to find a good player. But they cannot afford a bogey here. You've been sitting on that one all week. That's pretty good. Banks. All oh, that. I think that's maybe the way we're going with all these transfers. There. Banks steps into it. Offensive rebound for Brown, the freshman guard down low. And I like that he didn't try to force that back up. A lot of guys would have tried to force something back up off of that offensive rebound. Saw he didn't have a good advantage. Kick it back out, run some offense. Banks with. leader nearly 19 points nice job of keeping him playing at a pretty good level tonight Banks got a three they have lost their last seven since that win in New Orleans here's Banks launch and how you're inbounding the ball and they're gonna take it quickly and it uh, lost at UConn on Thursday but 
some huge wins for the resume at Wichita State and defeating a seven point game <laughs> as Mark Adams taking his broadcast off the rails where it probably should have been from the first half. Saturday, 7 Eastern, Kentucky and West Virginia. I was in Morgantown a couple weeks ago, and the locals were already talking about that game. It's bad. Coach, in the second year, um, and, and sometimes some pruning is necessary uh, when you take over a program. And so I think a lot of that was... Was, was, was why they had so many transfers last year. And this group is finding itself, and they they're playing their best ball right now. Now, what they have to do, they've had four turnovers in a row. Now, they, they scored eight points in a row, then the last four possessions, they've turned it over. Recover. That's the leadership of Gary Clark and Jacob Evans the third. South Florida shooting 10 of 16 from the floor. Big reason why Cincinnati has only had five defensive rebounds. Here's Peyton Banks, this time driving. Underrated first year players in the country, I would argue, for Temple. Nate Pierre Louis and the catch. Shots were hitting off the backboard from the free throw line short. He was all over the place. That one looked good. Nice hedge. Three point Indiana lead as we approach four minutes. I like Moore's activity defensively, number 22. Contested jumper. Run. He's been stressing to his team all week. You have to stay in the moment. Don't project out to March, especially after that win against Wichita State. He was looking for the first trip to the big dance in eight years. Backdoor. Jay, is that I think the American Conference 